Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, another little project, but we've uh, we've got to get this done before Christmas. And uh, I'm gonna see what we got. Just a little over a month, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna try to knock this out as quick as we can. Do it in the, you know at dark and evenings and the night, and uh, maybe if it rains or something during the day. But anyway, uh, this is a supposed to be a, an electric heater, and that's, uh, that's what I was told when it was given to me, and uh, it's just not what I've seen. So I'm going to move it here. Uh, it's got a cord on it, and it's got some heat elements up in the top, and I think it probably had some fake logs and uh, was made to look, you know, just go on the wall. But uh, I'll show you what, what I've seen when I looked at it. Okay, you can probably see now what I'm talking about. Uh, it looks like a Model T Ford body, and just a miniature one. And, of course, it'll have to be cut and lengthened and put on a frame and, you know, a lot of changes here and there. Uh, but I want to build my grandson a little, uh, just a little slow moving go-kart that, uh, you know, I don't want no fast go-kart or anything like that. He's already riding them little electric, uh, well, he's got an electric four-wheeler and a little electric wrecker that he rides around and uh, power wheels, I guess what you call them. But, uh, anyway, I want to make this into a Model T and we're going to... Uh, just like I said, make it run slow. I've got two lawnmowers. I actually, uh, when I got this body, which has been quite a while back, well, I called it a body. When I got this heater, uh, I sort of put the word out to some friends of mine that I needed a uh, ride lawnmower with a twin sonar, uh, just an old one to build this out of. And uh, I had two different buddies show up one day after the other, uh, bringing me lawnmowers. So. Ended up with a uh, Troy belt with a uh, Kohler 23 horse, I believe, uh, big engine, vertical, and ended up with a, I think it's a Craftsman, but it's got a Briggs 18 on it, and I may run the Briggs 18, I'm not sure, but we're not going to, we're not going to try to overcomplicate this, we probably end up will, because uh, I usually do. I've got this uh, lawnmower around here, I know I'd uh, done the first part of this video it was the other day, or a few days ago I finally got the lawnmower around I had it loaded up on the back of one of my rollbacks uh, this is a pretty simple setup uh, one of my friends Kyle brought me this and then uh, believe it or not uh, the following day or the day before uh, another friend brought another one so I sort of had a cho choice between two different mowers the other one had an 18 Briggs horizontal shaft and uh, a but it had an issue with the transmission jumping out and of course you had to push the clutch in put it in gear you know let it out to go the reason I chose this lawnmower, not necessarily because of the Kohler 23, because this is the Kohler Courage. They don't have the uh, the best of a reputation, but uh, what was wrong with this particular mower first, I'll tell you. Uh, it don't start right. It's either got, you know, there's, there's compression releases in this engine, and there's a few things that can happen to these to keep them from starting right. And, uh, you know, it's not, the compression release is not working, but I... It could be something as simple as a uh, valve guide has slid. Uh, we're going to check into it and see what we can figure out, but we'll get that taken care of. That's not a problem. You can actually start it. You just have to hit the starter, and then you got to spin the crank by hand, and you can tell that the compression release is not working at all. The other problem was the steering. One of the steering... See, wasn't this side. The tire's flat on this side. Yeah, steering arm had actually just popped loose. It was just wore out. So uh, that's not an issue either. Now this has got a variable speed drive. All you have is a forward or a reverse. And then as you hit the pedal, the farther you hit the pedal, the faster it goes. So this is going to be a setup to where all he really has to do is just push the pedal and it'll go. And when he lets his foot off the pedal, it, it'll stop moving. And that's basically what I want. And then he can shift into reverse. But uh, like I said, we're going to use this little, what I'm calling a Model T body which is like I said used to be a heater but we're gonna we're gonna strip this down we're gonna use the frame uh, I'm probably just gonna take the plasma and do some cutting on it uh, I hope nobody needs parts for this and uh, and you know I cut up their parts but I, I did pull the hood off and uh, good hood but uh, anyway I'm gonna get it uh, get the plasma fired up I'm gonna cut it down how I want it I've already looked it over really good and uh, of course we'll get the gas tank off and out of the way. The steering, I'm doing away with this steering completely. Uh, I've actually got a, I've got some options with the steering, so 
including a little rack and pinion. So uh, we're going to try to make this quick and and have this done for Christmas for him. And and uh, so we're rolling on. Okay, folks, we've got it. Uh, the back side of it taken down, as you can see. And uh, so we're we're getting there. Uh, didn't take but a couple minutes. And what I'm going to do. This is the variable speed pulleys right here. And what happens is, is, you know, it changes sizes by the center one moving up and down. And so basically the tighter you tighten this bottom one, you know, the, uh, the smaller the bottom one will get and it'll actually move up. So when it moves up, it actually tightens this belt up. Well, one of the problems I see already is the spring is broke and it has been broke on this one and it's out all the way. So I would say that this thing was probably taken off at a high speed. Once this belt was pulling, it moved this one up and it was taken off at, uh, at such a fast speed. That's why I was able to actually pop a willy on it, believe it or not. But I can't get where the light, I'm sorry about the light. But, uh, but anyway, if, if I may have to move this rear end back, make this thing longer. If I do, you know, initially thought, well, I've cut the frame and, and uh, add it in here because I got to strengthen this frame up a little bit anyway. Like the bottom side of it. And uh, let me see, we can move this rear back. There's only four bolts here, and then there's this cross member. But we'll leave the cross member up here and just make another one or another way of mounting the front of it. And that's just so it don't twist. But uh, and you can see it has twisted a little bit, probably from me popping with us. But uh, but anyway, someone's had it apart because they got washers on that side instead of spacers. So I mean, it's it, it's not a big deal. I mean, it really runs and, and pulls really good. So uh, but we'll move the rear back, and as long as we keep this belt at the right length and the spring pressure on it, we can move this. And when I say keep this belt, not this particular belt, but the belt length, and uh, we'll get a different belt. And we can move this pulley basically back anywhere we want to move it. So uh, we can go farther with the rear end back and then just you know change length on the belt. So that's all we'll have to do there. And that'll be nice and simple and easy. I think where the wheels are, in comparison to where the engine mounts here I think what we're going to run into is this length issue because I want to extend that body a little bit so he has room in it and you know room to grow a little bit so next is to get the gas tank I didn't get it off yet but uh, go ahead and get the gas tank off and we're going to go ahead and get this you know steering tower and the steering wheel and stuff off and uh, you know I'm not too worried about it I want to leave this on it just for the time being this the floor pan until I figure out for sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to use what's in that or maybe cut it out and set it over top of that or something we'll we'll do it as we go here but okay folks this lighting is terrible no matter where I go or what I do uh, it's either bright or dark so ain't much I can do with it <coughs> the uh, the sun's behind a tree and shining around it as you can see I'm standing basically in line with the tree so you can see my shadow but uh, anyway I'm just gonna cut a strip down and as you can see the reason that I wanted to use this unit is uh, that's low. Now the two bolts are missing in the front of the transmission, and it is kicked up and back, and that's that's why that frame was had a little twist in it. So uh, we've got to take care of that. That's no issue. Uh, I'm just going to set the body on it real quick and just see what we're going to have to do. If we're going to have to lengthen it or whatever we're going to do. I know we'll have to cut the the bottom out of it. I'm going to you know uh, just set it on there. It may not sit level or anything. Well, that's a start. I can see I'm definitely going to have to lengthen it. It's going to have to come back uh, probably by the time we're done, 12 inches maybe. Uh, but we can uh, we can do a temporary setup on that so we can get a get a length. Now this may be long enough inside. I was going to take this uh, track out of it and uh, build, build a platform for his back and then. Uh, cut out inside the the cow there for his feet and uh, he'll be able to get in and have some room but you know like I said as he grows it's gonna get worse so you know the longer the better so all right next thing I guess is uh, I got to get it lengthened I got to get this crap off the front get the muffler cut off because we're gonna run straight pipes down and out and out the back uh, I would love to run them as side pipes but uh, I don't want him to get burnt so uh, we won't do that so uh, 
anyway, let me get at it. Okay, folks, uh, I've been towing a bunch and uh, just now got back and while I was out, I stopped my tractor supply and picked up some different wheels and tires for the front. And uh, I'm gonna have to make some bushings for them because they're, uh, they're five eighths hole where I need a three quarter, but I'm gonna have to live with them. Uh, I like the tread on them. It's sort of like a car tread. And uh, we're gonna try to, at least pop the bearings out, maybe put them on to get it leveled out some because it's gonna be hard to do any real framework or anything with one flat tire and unlevel, so we'll do that real quick and then uh, I'll turn you back on. There we go, that looks better. Got some little tires on the front and brought the rate down a little bit. Uh, we still may do some little changing and swapping with it, but uh, you know, what we're really going for is sort of a, a cartoonish look anyway. We want, uh, you know, we want it up in the back, big tires in the back, little ones in the front, and then uh, probably gonna put some big side pipes on it. Now, I'm not gonna hook them up. I'm gonna run exhaust out toward the back. I don't wanna hook them up because I don't want him to get burned on them, but I'm gonna probably go ahead and put some on it anyway. Uh, just fake some in there somehow. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get the rear end moved back. If You know, even if it's just not on, but on jack stands and then I'm gonna get the body down and then we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, we got the rear out and moved back and I'm gonna make a few changes here. Uh, that's about what I wanted, and then I was going to cut this and extend it. Okay, what I figured out is if we do this right, put the steering right in the center, and I can cut into this and curve it back, and it'll lay about where this fan and this heater assembly is, which is coming out. And that'll bring the seat up at an angle. And then this whole kick panel down here is going to come out and he'll be able to have his feet up all the way into the cow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this back forward and we'll leave this like it is. I can make enough room in there. If you remember right, go-karts, when you sit in them, you know, your knees was out to the sides. They were short. So I think I can work with that. And later on I can, you know, I could even move back farther if I needed to. Uh, because I like about where the tires are. The back of the tires about even with the back of the body. And, uh, but, you know, it's gonna go down. So we're gonna cut into here and we'll put some little, what looks like fender wheels inside. And we may even later on throw a couple fenders on it or something. Uh, but I think that's gonna work. Uh, I don't think, I, like I said, I don't think I need to lengthen that and I can shorten up my wheelbase some because as you can see, it's getting kind of long. And, and, you know, this is not a, we're not trying to build a dragster. We're trying to build something that he can actually ride around on and if it's real real long it's going to be hard to to maneuver and turn so we're going to shorten it up about another bring the wheelbase in about probably eight inches nine inches and i think that will i think that will work all right i'm going to move some stuff around a little bit more before the dark gets here or the lack of light okay we've got the length about where we're we're going to keep it at about where it, right where it's at now the frame at the back is up you know a few inches and, and the body's up a few inches so it's all going to sit down lower and as of right now the body's actually tilting but uh but anyway i'm just trying to get an idea on length and stuff and like i said once we we cut it out now the rear end will be back probably another two inches we've got a little far forward but that's just where it ended up at so uh i think that's going to work Okay, I got some I got some work done on the clutch for the uh, for the uh, Chevrolet, the four-wheel drive C10, and uh, I'm going to keep working on it, jumping back be between this and that. This here, like I said, I'll probably roll it in the shop once I get the frame where I, where I want it at, or get the rear end where I want it at, and bolt it in, and then I can work on it at night and stuff. But I want to have this and that four-wheel drive done by Christmas, and uh, shouldn't be no problem. This here, you know, will go quick. This is just a little stuff. And, uh, you know, when you're modifying something, you're not necessarily fabricating it or building it. You're just modifying, so it don't take, don't take as long, especially if you've thought about it for, I've probably been, had this one in my head for about a year, so, you know, I know what, what I wanted to do and, uh, you know, my plans. So, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep at it and, and uh, I'll show you updates on this too. And, uh, got some video done on the truck, but I mean, like I said, it, once I get enough for a video, I'll get it posted too. And uh, anyway, yeah, appreciate everybody watching, and until uh, next time.
Bye.